Hello guys, I'm Giovanni Di Grezze. Today I'm showing you how to export um, 3D Equalizer Scene into um, Agisoft Photoscan. Uh, I wrote um, a script, a Python script, and this script uh, allows you to export all in, in an automatic way your project to um, Photoscan. Here we have um, a, a scene, a resolved scene, um, already <laughs> shown in uh, other tutorials. And uh, after downloading my script, you can find here in XOR project Photoscan. Clicking Photoscan, you have this, um, this panel. The panel allows you to export the source camera and also reference frames. You have to pass where you want to save the Python script that after you will uh, go, uh, you run inside Photoscan. Here you can set up uh, what is the frame step. Step uh, this will mean how what is the range, what is the gap between frames uh, that Photoscan should rebuild your scene. So, for example, in this scene we have 4 chill chill, 422 frames, but we don't want to rebuild the scene from all 422 frames, but we can say each 10 frames, so this is the gap between one frame that, we, that will be sent to uh, Photoscan. This is the path of this camera, and here you, you can see also other cameras if you had uh, different reference frames or other cameras. Now in this scene we have only this camera, the source 0000, and here, here to have to input the pattern of this footage but in his undistorted version, because we will going to set into Photoscan directly the uh, focal length from the 3D equalizer so uh, there are different um, lens models in 3D equalizer and in Photoscan so uh, we are trying to set up and to resolve the scene uh, with already undistorted camera so you have your 3D equalizer uh, project already uh, working and now you have also exported it with another software or uh, with 3D equalizer your undistorted clip so uh, I have uh, in this path the same footage as this one but undistorted here we have the position accuracy of camera and rotation accuracy this is important because uh, this is allow um, a bit movement of um, position and a bit movement in rotation and so that um, Photoscan can adjust your camera position and camera rotation to better uh, create a dense point cloud. Here we have uh, another option, uh, match photos and align and a build dense cloud. If we can, um, we, if we don't check match photos and align, we can build dense cloud. And if we export only the project at, at this stage, we have only uh, we have only the cameras exported. But if we check also match photos and align, we can also force uh, upon the execution of the script uh, in um, Photoscan also the matching a photo uh, and align uh, functionality. He, here we have to set the key point limit, the number of features in each frame, and the type point limit, the number of feature frames that Photoscan will use to match your different photos. Uh, 40 thousand uh, is a good key point limit while 4000 is also a key point limit you can increase these usually uh, the t point, point limit is a, um, a 10 percent of key point limit and with this check you can also can be uh, automatically dense point cloud or you if you uncheck this uh, button you can build the dense point cloud after uh, this so Pressing this, uh, 
we have so set up the export file, the frame step, the unstored footage. We have a little movement around the already uh, resolved cameras inside the equalizer, and we want also to match photos and align using these limits and build the dense cloud. That this is the final result that we want. So after this, we can press OK. The project is successfully exported. And now we have a new project. It's important to create a new project. Then we can press Tool, Run Script. And here we have the path where the, the previous uh, Python script into the equalizer exported the, our project. And we can simply set up this path and press OK. The software automatically for us try to import all the photos here with the, the gap that we set and also set up the reference cameras so we can the x y z with the accuracy set before 0 1 and now the project is building so i can move this window uh, here on the right if we scroll this window you can see also the rotation and accuracy of rotation all inside this reference panel inside uh, and this on uh, these cameras now so we have created imported photo each ta each 10 frames uh, and now we are creating we are matching point after this stage the software automatically align camera and will build the um, and will build the um, the final mesh now i'm going to stop this because uh, i already created the results but remember that using CUDA CPU, you can also you know, improve your processing time. You can reduce your processing time. So let's pause uh, the video. Okay, guys, so uh, this is the what uh, we ended after all the calculation. We can see uh, what we have. We have so all cameras with accuracy 0, 1 for each uh position translation and we have the position the rotation and the accuracy that we set two degree now after the aligning process we can see that here that uh, the aligning aligned cameras from photoscan are slightly different from 3d equalizer aligned cameras we have for example an error of zero 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 here or 001 meter here or 001 unit so for a total 001 so it this is on uh, each axis this is a really mm, little error and on degree we have uh, a 00, zero degree point here 1.5 and 1 2 is acceptable so i recommend to set 01 for position and two points for uh, for this for rotation uh, here in tool camera calibration we can see that i created in the script a different um, sensor resolution for each frame because if you have a shot with zoom it's important to set for each frame the exact zoom so you can find here for each label so for each source here a different sensor like it was shot with a different camera and here the most important factor here is the frame expressed in pixel so here we have the conversion from the 3d equalizer millimeter millimeter to frame in pixel for each of them so we have done this we also set pre-calibrate and fixed calibration so that photoscan don't won't change this and now we have so our uh, photos, the reference cameras and aligned photos and so at the end of the alignment we had this we have the point cloud the, the tool automatically also built the dense cloud we can see the dense cloud here, click on this button and this is the dense cloud of our reconstruction is, uh, is good and uh, in this project I also removed some points because there were some white points in the sky that we didn't need so but this is the the end so we can also look through here and we created uh, a nice dense point cloud 
From here you can export your point cloud using export point in PLI or XYZ or other formats and you can also build the dense mesh here and you can also create the dense mesh and export the mesh in your preferred software. In this way you can have after your 3D camera um, alignment process also a point cloud and a mesh that can help you during the reconstruction of the scene. You can use also part of the mesh without reconstruction, for example, on the terrain, because it could be useful for uh, shadow, for catching shadows, or for collision, or also only for ints to place a new model. So I hope that uh, uh, this uh, exporter uh, can be useful. Uh, there will can there could be also. Um, new features in the uh, in the future based on reference or other things i, I don't know actually is a, a version one uh, and it's working uh, nicely because it allow you to um, spare some time instead of setting up all this, these photos the uh, focal length the camera um, the um, camera reference parameter. So you, with one export script, you can have all the project set up, and uh, with a single click run uh, and uh, to run script, you can have uh, the build your um, scene build with the dense point cloud in a uh, few minutes. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please tell me, send me an email or writing on the YouTube comments. Bye guys!